Hello guys, this is Code in Code and this is the fifth lecture of this dynamic programming series, part one. And in this lecture, we are going to solve this subset, uh, subset sum problem and we are going to look at how you uh, you can use bit masking to solve subset sub problem. So the problem is very easy. You are given uh, here, it is T test cases. In each, uh, each test case is defined by three, uh, three lines. First line indicates N, the number of elements in the array and then the last integer is the total sum so you have to tell whether uh, is there any subset from the given array such that its sum is this number so if, uh, if yes there is if there exists such array or such sub array or subset then you have to print yes otherwise no and not it doesn't have to be a sub array uh, it can be a subsequence or basically a subset so if you see 2 0 7 and minus 1 which is a sub array the sum of all these elements is equals to 8 so we are printing yes or if you take only the subset 2 7 minus 1 which is actually a subsequence and or a subset then 2 7 minus 1 also adds up to 8 that is why we are printing yes in the second test case there is no subset of three elements sub uh, set minus 1 3 and 3 such that their sum is equals to 4 that is why we are printing minus or uh, no and for the fi final one sum of the first and the last element is equals to 5 that is why we are printing yes so is there exist any subset of a given five elements set such that their sum is 8 if if so then print yes otherwise no so we are going to generate all the possible subset of a given set since n is 15 only so uh total number of subset would be 2 raised to power 15 which is something like roughly 30, 33,000 so it is not a problem for us to generate all the possible subsets and check whether their sum is equals to uh, the given sum or not so let's solve this problem in the previous let me increase the size so since n can be let's take an array of size 15 n t and total sum and the last one p. so let me first yes now so first of all we will be given t and then in each test case we will be given n and then the elements which we will take in ar array so now we we have taken n sorry t then n then array finally the element let's call it p so finally the number we have to check with so it is p now we have to generate all the subsets of the given set of n integers and then we have to check whether uh, whether some uh, even a single set is equals to p or not so let's take a bool variable bool flag is equals to true indicating yes there exists some sub array such that its sum is equals to p and now let's generate all the possible sub array so let's call it mask is equals to zero i think the sub array should not be empty so non we have to check for by choosing some or none elements of the array okay so we are allowed to choose uh, an empty sub array so in that case we can start from zero now mask is less than total so let's take in total is equals to one left shifted n times so there would be these many subsets so mask less than total and then mask plus plus now if you have no idea how to generate all the possible subsets just go check out the fourth lecture of this series and in this lecture in that lecture i already explained how to calculate or uh, how to generate all possible subset of a given set so now uh 
sum is equals to zero we are going to check all the elements in this subarray so mass each time contains element of a subarray information basically about this subarray which element exists in the subarray or not so we have to check we have to run a loop to check whether this element exists in this subarray or not so this loop will check whether the ith element exists in this subarray or not so we what uh, we define an integer f and uh, f would be left shifted i times to check whether the ith bit is set or not in this mask and then if the ith bit is set so in that case mask and with f would not be equal to zero if that's true that would indicate the ith element exists in this subset and then what we can do we can add the ith element in the sum so finally our sum variable this variable contains the total sum of current subset so if sum is equals to p flag is equals to true and sorry flag is equals to true and finally break so since we are setting flag true here so we should initialize it with false indicating that there there is no subarray such that its sum is equals to p so if there exists even a single subarray so we will set this uh, flag to be true and finally we'll come out of this for loop so if flag is equals to true then see out yes else see out no so this way we will be able to test okay yeah so let's take these many test cases five elements minus three four and one let's take the sum to be nine yes because uh, 8 minus 3 and 4 would make a sum of 9 so that is why let's take 4 and 4 can we make 2 oh sorry so 5 the total number of elements have to be 5 I have entered only 3 elements 3 so 4 and 5 now I have entered 5 elements so can we make a sum of 1 the answer is no because uh, 4 4 2 and 5 5 there there is not a single subset whose sum would be equal to 1 so I think this is working fine let's test it on the problem itself so let's paste the code and run for the sample test cases so ah uh, sorry again the same mistake I have to remove this line that line is to increment the size of console output sorry come on this function and finally windows.h each and every time i make the same mistake sorry for that okay so the sample test cases are passing let's submit it and AC so the problem was you are given a set and a set of integers and you have to tell whether there exists a single subset or even a single subset whose sum is equals to 8 so uh, in this example problem we took all the subsets of a given set and then tested whether uh, sum of even a single subset is equals to P or not uh, the complexity of this would be 2 raised to power n into n uh, and n since is 15 so it would be 2 raised to power 15 into 15 which is and with 10 test cases it would still be less than 10 to power 8 so if there are uh, all the roughly all the online judges like code forces hacker Earth, and spodge everyone uh, in any online judge roughly 10 to the power 8 operations are equal to one second so 2 raised to the power 15 into 15 into 10 would be below 10 to the power 8 so that is why the complexity would be below 1 second the total time taken would be below 1 second and the complexity is uh, the time allowed for this problem is 3 seconds so we can 
we can afford to generate all the possible subset because 2 raised to the power 15 is roughly 33,000. If n, uh, there is a dp version of this problem also where n, the total number of elements in the set are uh, roughly 1,000. So if the total number of elements are 1,000, then 2 raised to the power 1,000 is really, really big number. So you can't, uh, you can't afford to generate all possible subset and check their sum so we will see how dp is used or dynamic programming to re reduce the complexity or uh, it would be roughly n square or n into total sum n into p something like that so we will see that in dp uh, in the next video so for this video it was all thank you guys for watching and yep yeah, keep coding thank you